This is one of the most common trees we see here in North Texas, but there's a small insect now spreading through our area and it's threatening to kill our ash trees. Andrea Lucia live for us in Dallas, where Andrea city leaders really talking today about what we can do about this. Yeah, this is a big concern. Ash trees make up somewhere between 5 and 20% of all trees here in Dallas. So losing them could significantly change the way some areas look. And when you have a lot of trees that are sick and dying, they also pose a risk to the people and property underneath them. See the little diamond right here? Karen Woodard can spot an ash tree by its bark, or the way its branches grow straight across from each other. That's called opposite branching and it's a city the forester. She's part of the Dallas team working to save these trees. You'll start to see dead limbs at the top and then more and more cascading down. Emerald ash borers were first found in traps here in Dallas last month. Their presence has prompted Dallas County to join Tarrant, Denton and Parker counties in a state mandated quarantine that restricts the movement of ash trees, firewood or mulch outside their borders. It's over 99% lethal to all uh, ash trees that have not been uh, treated or protected in some manner. Brett Johnson, an urban biologist with Dallas, says there is an effective vaccine of sorts that can be injected into a tree to help it fight off these pests. The city is now identifying healthy trees it wants to save and treating them. Ash trees along pathways and busy areas, on the other hand, that could pose a safety risk if infected, will be removed. They can collapse, they'll start dropping limbs, they can fall over. City council members briefed on the problem this morning expressed concern. I see this as COVID. And with the opportunity to vaccinate early, mitigate this problem. But Woodard says not every tree can or should be saved. The treatment, she says, comes with a catch. It will kill the emerald ash borer. It will kill everything else, too. That's why another reason we need to be careful with it. It will kill any insect that feeds on the tree. And those insects include pollinators, which are vital to our ecosystem. In anticipation of losing a lot of trees within the next two to five years, the city of Dallas is going ahead and planting new ones to help fill in the gaps. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you for that.